is having a wonderful Wednesday afternoon. So we have a special guest. Again, Brad from Battlebone Coffee. So he's going to be my, uh, actually, we're going to do blind taste. So, hey Brad, have you ever played with uh, Niche or DF64 before, the grinder? Mm, nope, never have. Okay, so DF64 right here. So DF64 is a, a flat bird grinder with a 64 millimeter flat bird. Niche is a conical bird that's 63 millimeter conical bird. Okay, so I think it comes to single dose. This is one of two. Okay, the, I mean this like I said two best on the market for the price range. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm going to put the I'm gonna be using uh, one of uh, Brad is our local roaster. So Brad just brought me uh, beans from Guatemala. What's the tasting one on this one, Brad? It's uh, chocolate and peanut butter, a hint of apple. Like so again, chocolate, the hint of peanut butter, and then apple? Like Yeah, like a crispness of an apple. Okay, so crisp of apple. Okay, so a little bit of what, bitterness perhaps? A tad, yeah. Tad bitter, okay, so. Maybe tart would be a better word. Tart, yeah. okay. So we got, uh, I got 18 gram dose out here. And I'm going to pull the shot, okay? We are going to pull the shot. Uh, let's do like one to two, 18 gram in. You know, let's do one, uh, 18 gram in, like 40 gram out, okay? Around 40 gram there. And then I'm going to be, I'm going to be using this identical cup here, okay? And I'm going to send him out to the lobby. And then once I make the coffee, and we're going to wait about a minute or so, and then hopefully, He's gonna let us know which one. He again, guys. So this is not. There's no scientific behind this. It's all about uh, his uh, taste. Okay, all about Brad's taste. Uh, so don't take this experiment seriously. But you should be fun. Okay, you should be a lot of fun here. So, so here's what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna grind some coffee beans. One with niche the other one with df64 and then uh, comes the grinder setting i hope you have the right grinder setting though setting so get our fingers crossed okay By the way, smells wonderful here. Smells absolutely beautiful. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm gonna send Brad out. Hey yeah, Brad, why don't you go to the lobby for me? All right, so I'm gonna start with that one right there. Okay, I'm gonna start with this coffee. Hope, uh, I don't want him to hear me, so. Okay, I'm just gonna, let's prepare the shot. Okay, we're gonna do one to two ratio. Okay. A little bit of WDT here. So I'm gonna be doing just a standard shot and then uh, maybe I'm gonna use a slight flow control. You know, let's use a bravo temper for fun here. Okay. No puck screen, I'm just gonna pull the straight shot. Right. 
go all the way up. Pressure looks pretty good. You got eight bar pressure. Man, we got 42 gram. Okay, I think we have to do it again. The 16 seconds. That is too fast. Okay. Yeah, this so this is too fast. So let's change the grinder setting because we want to be close as possible. So right now we're at grinder setting number, okay. I'm just gonna change to number 10 right now. Okay. So let's pull the shot quickly. I know Brad is waiting outside. So this is great about, uh, I mean, especially that grinder, really easier to use. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna watch this. There we go. Okay, so this is a part of a grinding process. That means the a grinder adjustment process. There's no shortcut for that. Yeah. So let's do a quick another 18 gram here. But well, meantime, I'm going to work on the other grinder. gonna do a quick WDT you know what just I'm just do the wedge tours from San Antonio industry I'm just gonna use my force temper okay for the consistency now I'm gonna use my puck screen this time just for fun all right here I go Okay, let's get going. Look at the pressure. I'm playing with the flow control there right now. We're at nine bar. I'm trying to shift for 40 run. Beautiful looking shot there. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, let's move on to the next. Hopefully we have the right grinder size for this. Force temper.
Okay, folks, let's try one more time. There we go. Oh, playing with the floor control there. Man, they look like chocolate, isn't it? Goodness. We're at nine bar pressure. Wow, what a shot there, guys. Okay, I got 37 seconds. Ah. 37, 38 gram, 35 seconds. You know what? Man, that's a little far from each other there. But uh, we're gonna give it a try anyway, okay? Yeah, so let's do that. You got two similar shot. So this one is from yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna say. So this one from Conacover, so this one from Flatbur. So let's find out if he can, uh, he can tell the difference in flavor. All right, bro. Give it a try there. So Brad is sitting over there. Okay, try it. Well, let's start with this one first. Okay. Try the first one. bitter little bitter interesting okay that's interesting okay good bitter and what else a little dark chocolate dark chocolate the bitterness is calming now okay already Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Why don't you wash down with some water? All right. All right. So this is uh, another shot. All right. Make sure you mix it well. So that is number two. What do you think about that? This one's better. That one's better? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Is this the Mexican? No, that's the Guatemala. Okay. No, no yeah, yeah, Guatemala, you just... Okay. Yeah. This is more flavorful. More flavorful, okay. What about this one? Is that flavorful? It's, no, it is. But it's but there's like more of a separation of flavors. So that one is more separation. Interesting. Okay. Changing as they cool. Exactly, changing as cool. Yeah. <clears throat> so. So now it's cooled down a little bit. So. Try down first.
Okay. Okay. This one's sharper, brighter. Sharp. Okay, good. Okay, sharper and brighter. Good. Okay, you got right on it there. Okay, go on. What about that one? I mean, they're both super similar. Okay. But which one you have a better tasting? Okay, I think I think we are getting somewhere here, guys. <clears throat> so what? I, so what I'm doing is right now I'm gonna put another shot for Brad. Okay. Okay. Man, I don't know. I'm gonna put another shot of right here. Don't drink that yet. I'm gonna put another shot for them. Okay. So wait, this is the... That's the flapper. Okay. You are right about the very, you know, you said bright. Yeah. That you, you are correct about that, okay? Because that one was uh, under extracted. That's why you are tasting some, you know, brightness. You know. So hopefully, this time around, we're going to have a right shot for you. Okay, so we are going to throw another shot for Brad. <clears throat> Flow control always on, fully open. There we go. Flow looks good. We're gonna go down to nine bar. There we go. Yeah, look at that shot. Perfect. Okay. About 38 seconds. Yeah. So this is very similar to what niche was. Okay. Okay. This was the previous niche? So that's niche. Okay. So that was uh first time you uh said it you said some are under extracted. You said bitter. You said a little what bright? Uh, yeah, that one was brighter. And the initial you like this one better, what wasn't it? You like the coffee from niche. Your initial impression was. I think so, but once it cooled, it changed. Changed, okay. But it was but it's I don't know, I, I like to wait for it to not be super hot, because then it's like, there's okay. always more flavor. Yep. So why don't you wait about a little bit there? Yeah, let it go. Just let it cool down for a little bit. Okay. That was the niche. Yep. This was the... DF64. DF64. Alright, so these two should be yep. similar. Similar, because uh, the first shot was uh, under-extracted. Okay. I mean, that's why you said it has a different flavor to it. Yeah. The second shot, I think we are on the right on the money, somewhat. Some good caramel in there. And then you say uh, niche was what? You said more fuller flavor? Yeah. More it, fuller. Was, it was more blended. More blended, okay. Because I think a bride is right because the conical board is a blends better, okay? So, so now Brad is trying out the second shot with the F64. I think we got a better, we dialed in better. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is better. 
Better, better than the first one, obviously. obviously. So now I can now I can taste that apple. Okay. Chocolate, I'd say chocolate apple. Mm. Yeah, that was the best one. Of the three. Really? Yeah. Okay. So Brad likes the flat bird better than conical bird. I never would have thought. Interesting. <laughs> okay. So pretty much comes the extraction wise, very similar extraction with a uh, niche earlier. So, so you prefer the flat? You like you like your shot better than conical? I think I do. You know what? Okay, so so let's be fair right now. Okay, so let's be fair. Let's give it a niche one more chance. Okay, one more time. And then uh, I wonder if he's gonna tell there any difference. So we are going to dial then. Actually, hmm. Because it comes to extraction time with a first niche and the second shot of the F64, very similar. So, man. I wonder how much it's gonna get better for the conical. Oh, okay. So if you uh, so let's rate this niche one uh, one to ten. Still really good. Okay, give it a point. Okay, this is a one person's point of view. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Okay, this is a one person's point of view. And a non coffee taster's yep. point. Okay. Of view. Uh, eight. I mean, it's still it's still great. Okay, give it an eight on that. What yeah. about the DF sixty four? Nine, nine to nine to ten. I mean, they're great. They're both good. Okay, uh, so but it's just I, I, I kind of like being able to to taste different things, like pick them apart. Okay, you so uh, okay, so by the way, so that's the great thing about that flat bur. The flat bur give you a, so you're gonna have a more separation in flavor. Okay, conical bur is more kind of like blended, and uh, because conical bur has more fines, so it felt like. More f more body to it, you you say more texture or yeah, almost like a. <clears throat> I know we stirred everything yep. with a spoon, but I but the taste is more like you stirred the conical uh -huh. burr coffee, but you didn't the flat burr coffee, and so like you can taste the different like the chocolate is not uh -huh. it's like separate from the apple okay, but it's. Not. You know what I mean? Okay, so so what you are saying is you can separate out the chocolate yeah. apple. Yeah. Okay, you can. What about this one? What about the conical? It's it's like so I didn't I can't taste the apple the same in the conical. Okay. But there's chocolate. Exactly. But you're just not getting maybe the brighter notes. You're not getting the. Maybe it's in there, but it's too subdued from the other okay. taste. Does that make any sense? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> um, you know what? It's kind of like, man, because the flapper gives you that separation of flavor, okay? Compared to the conical, is more more fuller. Let's put it that way, okay? It's more combined. You know, conical is more like you're drinking milkshake. And then with the flapper, give you that, again, Back to the, the separation so so again so that that's pretty good there so so if you're gonna buy you gotta put money down which one you're gonna buy I'd probably go flat just because I don't have one okay so <laughs> but, because, but you do have a smart grinder at home right yeah it's conical though yeah you got conical so, smart yeah which so is okay it's, it's an okay grinder so the flat part should be good yeah yeah I mean since once I, you I, I'd go with the DF64 just to uh, Cause I, I like that I like that yep. taste better. You got the per personal preference. Yep. You got the, the separation of the flavor, huh? And we drink a lot of lighter coffees. We like the Ethiopia stuff and Costa Rica. You know, little little different taste than like the chocolatey. I got you. Type coffees. Okay, so so this is more like a, a South America coffees, mm -hmm. very chocolatey, mm -hmm. very nutty. And then, uh, you told me you have another one. We have a, yeah, that's that's like a one-off deal. What is it? I'm just playing with it. It's a Papua New Guinea 
uh, washed. Papua New Guinea. Yep. So what's the tasting note on this one, Papua New Guinea? Uh, chocolate, caramel, and I, to me it feels very buttery. Like almost okay. like a buttery taste, okay. buttery feel. That's not in the notes that, that we get it from, but the chocolate and caramel is is definitely there and that's what they that's the tasting note. Is that roasted on tenth though? Yeah. So you should be good to go? It's a week, it's five okay. days old. Five days old. So we are going to try this coffee. But by the way, so uh so Bryceman Badboom coffee. I know we have Q Panko for you guys, right? Mm -hmm. Hoon 25. Hoon 25. Okay, you guys can get 25 percent off. So I'm gonna put the link down below. So Brad is from, so Brad does really good job with man the dark medium to dark roast there. If you guys love like near baked drink, pretty good I have to say. So let's try this one here. And uh, do you have a recipe in mind or no? No, what are you gonna do? With, with the espresso? Oh yeah. Yeah. So we're going to do the espresso. I think you have to cut the top off. I think I sealed them still, but okay. I might not have. So let's do, uh, let's use a DF64. Okay. And then hopefully, we're going to get the tasting notes. I don't think I've made espresso with that yet. I think I've only done, no I did yesterday. Oh you did? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you have an infusion at home, right? Yep. The Breville infuser yep. and the smart grinder. Yep. All breveled out. Yep. Oh! Smells definitely. I smell caramel. Yeah, for sure. By this very mellow sweetness to it. Man, Brad, you have how many cups of. Two and a half. Two and a half so far there. Two and a half cup. So this I'm gonna be using the spout it. So we're gonna get a two shot out of it. So let's do 18 gram. Those out. Again, we're gonna be using DF64. So this coffee bean is from Papua New Guinea. Okay, we got 18 gram. Right on the money. I'm just gonna say grinder size, same as last time. It's gonna be similar to the darker stuff, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, I got WDT here. We got the distribution. Again, we're gonna play with the force temper this morning. Okay, and then I think again, I really like to use the the puck screen. You know what? It's because the not because the flavor, because it's so much easier to clean. You don't have to worry about cleaning your shower screen there, so. All right. Let's do all that. We're gonna do, think about one to two ratio. Here we go. Mm. 
man, grind is too fine. We are playing the flow control at the moment. The eight bar. Okay, there's long extraction. About 50 second shots. Very, it's like way over extracted. But, you know what? <coughs> I don't like to waste coffee, so let's try this coffee anyway, okay? So let's try this coffee. Man, I smell, goodness. What's that smell? I smell like some kind of fruity. Very bright. See, that's, that's what Heather's saying too. Yeah. I see a lot of brightness there. Yeah, a lot of brightness. Okay, we are playing with the flat bird right now. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, there we go. Cheers, guys. Man, it's bitter. But not as bitter as I expected. With yeah. 50, 50 some seconds. Yeah, but I, I think it's a... So this is great thing about the flow control. Okay, flow control can actually save the shot. And if you... Somehow, if you... Grinder setting is too fine. You can uh, change your flow that, you know, just, you know, push through a very gentle flow of the, you know, the flow control. So, you know, you can save the shot, but I mean, if you are drinking regularly, this is way too bitter, but with the flow control, you know, it's not too bad. Yeah. You can actually still taste the essence of the coffee. It's, I mean, I see some kind of what? Cocoa? Yeah, but do you taste anything buttery? Like, there's like a... Hold on. After taste is somewhat, yeah, somewhat smooth. Man. But, uh, hold on, I'm gonna big shout out to LL Cool Ray from England, okay? Long time no talk, LL, okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, Richard asking about the uh, can you video on canister, coffee canister this way? Got lots of them. I got lots of them, but you know what? I don't know because I like to do more testing on it. So this one is a is an automatic. Okay, this is a full automatic. Uh, battery, USB charger, fully automatic. I've been using it for the last month or so. I don't have exactly have opinion on that right now. <coughs> Because I do want to taste more, but yeah, but obviously Airscape is pretty good. Uh, fellow Atmos is also top of my list as well. So it comes to automatic, time to tell, okay, time to tell there. But, but I'm definitely doing the video on it for sure. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Again, I mean... So it sounds like, bro, you like the flapper. I might, yeah. Okay, so it sounds like. But I think it's because that's just a preference in taste. I think it's a preference in taste, though. If you're trying to pick things apart and taste other yep. stuff, yep, I it mean, seems like maybe that's a, that's the way to go. Especially you're being a roaster. Yeah. So you want to tell, you know, yeah. different flavor in your coffee. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, definitely. The flat but I can understand if, if, for like normal, normal people. Yeah, like well, no, we're all normal. People. I mean, you know, I, like <clears throat> if you're just trying to get, you know, something to make good coffee that's like you know, more mellow and more more balanced. Yeah. Okay, more more balanced. I think I can okay. understand where it's, it has its place. I think for the home use. Okay, I have to say I think I go with the niche. Okay, for home use. DF64, don't get me wrong, but here, here's the price point though. The price point on DF64, 
uh, I'm gonna put a link down below as well. The Joe is selling on his uh, uh, his website, uh, Espresso Outlet, selling for 450 bucks shipped. Okay, I believe it's shipped. So you are talking about less than 500 dollars for the DF64. But with the niche, okay. that you got usually sold out in about within a couple of hours. And you are looking at 750 bucks, 750 to 800 dollars, depending on the shipping cost. So, I mean, for having said that, you know, again, can go wrong with either of them. If you are looking at, you know, flapper versus conical, niche versus DF64, I mean, both grinders, so, you know, both good, okay? I have to say, I've been using it for a couple of years now, yeah. Can't go wrong with DF64 or niche. If there's something user-friendly, good workflow, niche is slightly better than DF64, but other than that, I mean, you know, they're pretty much about the same burst size. One is conical, one is flat. So it all depends on what you guys like. But again, like Brad said, if you want to see the difference, uh, the flavor separation, okay? But the flat part is, I think it's better. Might be, yeah. And then if you want something more balanced, more, you know. Blended. Blended, conical is the way to go. Anyway, uh, I hope this video helps. Make sure to check out Brad's, uh, his website, Battery Boom Coffee. I'm going to put the link down below. 25% uh, off, okay, for the Hoon 25, make sure you use that, and then, uh, uh, what else, anything else, uh, follow, make sure you follow him on Instagram as well, yes, okay, Battle Bone Coffee, alright, anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday afternoon, and see you guys tomorrow.